Hi, this is Denusa, and we are here at Santa Rosa Lake State Campground, where we stayed last night, and we're ro roughly located about 150 miles due east of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Now, we had a really good night last night. We did get, we really started in the early evening when we were in Las Vegas, New, New Mexico, and we ate dinner at an uh, Asian buffet restaurant, which was really good. Portions were so good, and just the way it was, they gave us leftovers. So we brought them here and we had them for breakfast. After that, well, the car and all the mud, which was just, we must have had at least 50 pounds of mud caked onto the car. And literally to the point where it was causing the tires to kind of stick in the wells. And it was that bad. I've never seen it that bad. Uh, but, so we really needed to do something before we went anywhere else. So we pulled into a, a car wash with the wands and such and poured a bunch of quarters in. We didn't get it all, but we got a fair amount of it. And I have to say it was my most expensive self car wash that I've ever done in my life. It cost us ten dollars and quarters and we still didn't get the car completely clean of mud. Then we drove out of Las Vegas, New Mexico kind of about like 7 30, 8 o'clock and headed south and then east to Santa Rosa and by the time we got to Santa Rosa State Park, with everything, the turnarounds at just time, a little further than I expected, it was at least 10 o'clock here, really late. But since we had made reservations this afternoon, we knew we had a site. We knew where it was and what we were getting into. So, let me tell you a little bit uh, about uh, New Mexico State Parks and the current conditions, which right now is spring of 2021. New Mexico State Parks, as far as facilities, are not standard throughout the system, unlike a lot of states have. They have everything from very primitive camping with no facilities whatsoever to full hookups, showers, and flush toilets. Well, that's what Santa Rosa Lake is. It's full service. The other thing is uh, New Mexico is starting to get out from underneath the lockdown of this year and a half so that really complicates things even more because every state park has their own regulations uh, on what they're doing with the lockdown they're all opening up steadily and in a few months they're probably going to be all open to full service but right now it's really unless you do the research it's pot luck of what you're going to find or even if you can get a site, because some of these are reservation only, like this one is. I do like New Mexico State Parks when I woke up. And it's like, wow, this is really beautiful. Uh, and we're supposedly in the desert, um, but it's still a fair amount of grass here. So it's, and of course it's spring. I should also add into that mix of things that of factors that are affecting it is we're still in fire restrictions 
but it's from county to county and state land to state land and federal land to federal land. So you really have to be really careful about what you do, where you do, what you can, and if you can have a fire. All right, enough about regulations, rules, and you know what's going on. Let's show you the campsite here. If you swing my camera would swing to the left here, that's our tent. There is the fireplace. However, with the stage two restrictions, we're not allowed to have any fires. You get a shelter, concrete, and a picnic bench, which is solid concrete, and don't even think about picking it up or moving it. It's, it's at least a thousand pounds to a ton. And then, swinging more over, you will see the electrical box, and if you look over the roof of our Subaru, you will see the water connection. And that's the new Subaru we're driving. That's really nice. But again, we'll talk about that in a, a different video. All right, swinging around. All right, behind that bush, you'll see that kind of white concrete. That building is the showers and the flush toilets. And beyond there is a playground. And on the other side is more camping, but it's not electric. And the showers are, well, they're usable and they have hot water. They're free. They definitely look like circle of 1980s concrete and tile but they're clean and they have toilet paper anyways let me wrap this up we're going to be moving on and to having a nice day it is cloudy right now uh, weather was nice last night it was Low 40s, high 30s, very little wind, no rain, no snow. I'm happy for that. So, on to the next day. This is Denusa signing off.